Hello, my name is David DeLuca. I'm a senior storage solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. I'm here to talk about an exciting new feature in AWS DataSync, which allows you to adjust the network bandwidth that can be utilized by a DataSync task while it is running. Let's get started. AWS DataSync is an online data transfer service built to help our customers quickly and securely move data to and from AWS storage. DataSync was purpose-built to address some of the challenges that come when trying to move millions of files and terabytes or even petabytes of data. DataSync has built-in scheduling, automatic encryption of data in flight, data integrity verification in flight and at rest, and granular visibility into the transfer process through Amazon CloudWatch metrics, logs, and events. DataSync is built to be fast, secure, reliable, cost-effective, and easy to use and manage. When transferring data, we need to consider the amount of available bandwidth that can be utilized without impacting other workloads that are using the same network connection. DataSync has two ways of mitigating this issue. The first method is scheduling. When you create a DataSync task, you simply tell it when to execute. Customers commonly schedule tasks to run after work hours or over weekends. The second method is to set a limit on the maximum bandwidth that can be utilized by a data sync task. For example, you can tell the task to use all available bandwidth, or you can enter a specific value in megabytes per second. We recently enhanced this feature. You can now modify the bandwidth limit while a data sync task is running. Let's look at two scenarios in which this feature will add value to our customers. Let's assume we have a 100 megabit connection. A data sync task is configured to execute at 7 p.m. and use all available bandwidth. But the task continues to run into the next day, and by morning, you want to limit the bandwidth used by data sync to ensure that end users are not impacted. With the release of this new data sync feature, we can edit the running task and set a bandwidth limit, let's say 20 megabytes per second. This will allow the data sync task to continue running while freeing up bandwidth for other network services. The second scenario is when the opposite situation occurs. What if a task was executed with a bandwidth limit and it continues to run after working hours? We can simply modify the task again and increase the bandwidth that it can utilize. So let's move on to the AWS console for a demonstration of this feature. So here we are in the AWS console. I've already created a data sync task. Its source location is an NFS share, which is communicating to a data sync agent. The destination location is an S3 bucket. Let's take a look at the Options tab. For this task, I've configured a bandwidth limit of 20 megabytes per second. Let's go ahead and execute this task. It will take a few minutes to move through the launching and preparing phases of the task execution. I'm going to pause the video and we will resume once the task enters the transferring data phase. Okay, the data transfer has begun. As you can see, the data throughput is staying below 20 megabytes per second. If we want to raise this limit, we simply come up to the Edit menu, and we can select our new value. As a result of this change, we should see that the data throughput steadily increases. We could also set a lower bandwidth limit while the task is still running, simply by clicking the Edit menu again and selecting our bandwidth value. This concludes our demonstration on adjusting the network bandwidth limit on a running data sync task. Thank you for your time.